And when these, when these preachers bless their hearts and they start getting up and talking this old stuff that is that, and lying on God, you'll say immediately, well, that ain't right. That's not what God said. You know, bless their heart, but they're wrong. That's right. And I'll tell you what, some of them might, some of them may not. Some of them, I think they've got another father. I think their father's the devil. Because I know every preacher that's come along is not called of God. And the Bible teaches that just that. So you better watch. Amen. Now, I forgot where I was. Anyway. Now, look at uh, 1, Timothy chap 1 Timothy now, chapter 4 and verse 1. I want you to listen to this. He says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, speaketh expressly. In other words, he, it was voiced out among them by the Holy Spirit. Someone speaking by the Spirit of God. That in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Now, i tell you one thing that qualifies this real quick is this is the latter times. And he said that some shall depart from the faith. Well, you can't depart from something that you don't have. Okay? So you have known the truth, but some will depart from it. And notice what he's, how? You know, you would think, you would think that, well, who would depart from the, from the faith? Once you've known the Word of God and you, you've got some light on it, who would, who would depart? And what would cause anybody to depart from that? Yeah, we got the flesh to deal with every day, but, but that, that, that's not what's going on here. Listen to what he said. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is what he says. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Depart from the faith. So every doctrine that comes along is by no means Word of God based. Now they may read it from the Word because you can take things out of the Word and take them out of context and say lots of things that's why we must study to show ourselves approved unto God, rightly dividing these truths. Amen. So they take, here comes a devil, seducing spirits, which is nothing more than demons, that comes up with these doctrines of devils. And people pay attention to those things. They start looking at them. And they start First thing you know, they're talking about them. Even though the Word of God says something else. Amen. And they follow and get off of the right track and get off on these wrong tracks and start saying all this junk. God, you know, I'm against prosperity. Well, brothers and sisters, you don't believe that. But you believe the devil concerning these things. You don't believe that at all. Why are you getting out and working for? Right. Why do you want your paycheck every Friday or whatever you get it? I don't believe in that prosperity. Well, then tell them to keep you pay, work for free. So I don't want paid. I don't believe in it. <laughs> you'll find you don't believe that at all. And if you'll get in the Word of God, you'll know that he don't teach that at all. He teaches just, the con just to the contrary of that. He said, Paul said, Beloved, you can't get it any clearer than this, I wish above all things that you may prosper. Oh, somebody said, oh, that's a spiritual thing. No, he said, prosper and be in health even as our own soul prospers. So he, 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 he divided those right there, right for us. So he said, I be Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper. And be in health, even as your own soul prosper. But money's evil, somebody says. Money's evil. Money's evil. Money has money is not evil. Money is not good or bad. It is not good or bad. Money is neutral. It only takes on the character of the person that has it. Praise God. When God has your money, it's blessed. 
If you're a Christian and you have money, it's blessed. Now, if you're a thief or a robber or a, some uh, this drug dealer, your money is evil. It's took on your very character. Now, some of you need to get a hold of that and quit talking against the blessings of God. The devil has, it has, has come in, and it's a doctrine of the devil. If he, tries to, if he gets you turned off of money, he'll get you, you'll never be able to be blessed. Are you hearing? And the Bible declares from, from start to finish about how God has blessed his people. Yes. Always blessed his people mightily, mightily, more blessed than anybody in the land. Yes. Well, if God was against prosperity, why did he bless them for? That's right. Why did he do that? You'll find God don't do nothing he's against. That's right. He can't. That's right. But see, people have, just, have, have heeded these things. They, 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 they've heard preachers. I tell you, it comes right out of the pulpits. It's like I said. People believe what they hear. That's 